brought to you by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. For free of tire, slash for free slash Greek, pi omicron rho by rho iota omicron, Porphyrios, C 234 C. 305 AD was a Neoplatonic philosopher who was born in Tyre. He edited and published the Enneads, the only collection of the work of his teacher Plotinus. His commentary on Euclid's elements was used as a source by Pappus of Alexandria. He also wrote many works himself on a wide variety of topics. His Isagogy, or introduction, is an introduction to logic and philosophy, and in Latin translation, it was the standard textbook on logic throughout the Middle Ages. Also, through several of his works, most notably philosophy from oracles and against the Christians, which was banned by Emperor Constantine the Great, he was involved in a controversy with several early Christians. Porphyry's parents were Greek, and he was born in Tyre. His parents named him Malchus, king, but his teacher in Athens, Cassius Longinus, gave him the name Porphyrius, clad in purple, possibly a reference to his Phoenician heritage, or a punning allusion to his name, and the color of royal robes. Under Longinus, he studied grammar and rhetoric. In 262 he went to Rome, attracted by the reputation of Plotinus, and for six years devoted himself to the practice of Neoplatonism, during which time he severely modified his diet. At one point he became suicidal. On the advice of Plotinus, he went to live in Sicily for five years to recover his mental health. On returning to Rome, he lectured on philosophy and completed an edition of the writings of Plotinus, who had died in the meantime, together with a biography of his teacher. Iamblichus is mentioned in ancient Neoplatonic writings as his pupil, but this most likely means only that he was the dominant figure in the next generation of philosophers. The two men differed publicly on the issue of theurgy. In his later years, he married Marcella, a widow with seven children, and an enthusiastic student of philosophy. Little more is known of his life, and the date of his death is uncertain. Porphyry is best known for his contributions to philosophy. Apart from writing the aids to the study of the intelligibles, Phi Omicron Romu Alpha Pi Rho Tau Nu Omicron Eta Tau, Sententiae Ad Intelligibilia Ducens, a basic summary of Neoplatonism, he is especially appreciated for his introduction to categories, Introduction in Predicamenta, or Isagogy et in Aristoteles Categorius Commentarium, a very short work often considered to be a commentary on Aristotle's categories, hence the title. According to Barnes, 2003, however, the correct title is simply Introduction, Epsilon Sigma Alpha Gamma Omega Gamma Isagogy, and the book is an introduction not to the categories in particular, but the logic in general, comprising as it does the theories of predication, definition, and proof. The introduction describes how qualities attributed to things may be classified, famously breaking down the philosophical concept of substance into the five components genus, species, difference, property, accident. As Porphyry's most influential contribution to philosophy, the introduction to categories incorporated Aristotle's logic into Neoplatonism, in particular, the doctrine of the categories of being interpreted in terms of entities, in later philosophy, universal. Boethius Isagogy, a Latin translation of Porphyry's introduction, became a standard medieval textbook in European schools and universities, which set the stage for medieval philosophical theological developments of logic and the problem of universals. In medieval textbooks, the all-important Arbor Porphyriana, Porphyrian tree illustrates his logical classification of the substance. To this day, taxonomy benefits from concepts in Porphyry's tree, in classifying living organisms, see cladistics. The introduction was translated into Arabic by Abdallah Ibn al-Makafa from a Syriac version. With the Arabicized name Isagogy, it long remained the standard introductory logic text in the Muslim world and influenced the study of theology, philosophy, grammar, and jurisprudence. Besides the adaptations and epitomies of this work, many independent works on logic by Muslim philosophers have been entitled to Isagogy. Porphyry's discussion of accident sparked a long-running debate on the application of accident and essence. 
Porphyry is also known as an opponent of Christianity and defender of paganism. His precise contribution to the philosophical approach to traditional religion may be discovered in the fragments of philosophy from oracles. Pi Epsilon Rho Tau Kappa Lambda Omicron Gamma Omega Nu Phi Iota Lambda Omicron Sigma Omicron Phi Alpha. De Philosophia et Oraculis Horienda, which was originally three books in length. There is debate as to whether it was written in his youth, as Eunapius reports, or closer in time to the persecutions of Christians under Diocletian and Galerius. Whether or not Porphyry was the pagan philosopher opponent in Lactantius' Divine Institutes, written at the time of the persecutions, has long been discussed. The fragments of the philosophy from oracles are only quoted by Christians, especially Eusebius, Theodoret, Augustine, and John Philoponus. The fragments contain oracles identifying proper sacrificial procedure, the nature of astrological fate, and other topics relevant for Greek and Roman religion in the 3rd century. Whether this work contradicts his treatise Defending Vegetarianism, which also warned the philosopher to avoid animal sacrifice, is disputed among scholars. During his retirement in Sicily, Porphyry wrote against the Christians, Cap Alpha Dao Cairo Iota Sigma Tau Iota Alpha Nu Nu, Adversus Christianos, which consisted of 15 books. Porphyry acknowledged Jesus Christ only as an outstanding philosopher. Some 30 Christian apologists, such as Methodius, Eusebius, Apollinaris, Jerome, etc., responded to his challenge. Everything known about Porphyry's arguments is found in these refutations, largely because Theodosius II ordered every copy burned in AD 435, and again in 448. Porphyry became one of the ablest pagan adversaries of Christianity of his day. His aim was not to disprove the substance of Christianity's teachings, but rather the records within which the teachings are communicated. His criticisms may have targeted Christians more than Christ, he is reported to have said in another work. The philosophy from oracles the gods have proclaimed Christ to have been most pious, but the Christians are a confused and vicious section. According to Jerome, Porphyry especially attacked the prophecy of Daniel, because Jews and Christians pointed to the historical fulfillment of its prophecies, as a decisive argument. But these prophecies, he maintained, were written not by Daniel, but by some Jew who in the time of Antiochus Epiphanes d. 164 BC, gathered up the traditions of Daniel's life, and wrote a history of recent past events, but in the future tense, falsely dating them back to Daniel's time. Daniel did not predict so many future events as he narrated past ones. Finally what he had told up to Antiochus contained true history. If anything was guessed beyond that point it was false, for he had not known the future. Quoted by Jerome, the first part of Daniel, except the dream in Daniel 2, is historic, not prophetic. Porphyry, attacking only the prophetic portion, declares it to be merely a late anonymous narrative of past events, purporting to have been predicted long before by Daniel. Thus Porphyry's scheme was based on the supposed spuriousness of Daniel's prophecies. Porphyry devised his interpretation where the third prophetic kingdom was Alexander, and assigned the Macedonian Ptolemies and Seleucids to the fourth kingdom. From among these he chose ten kings, making the eleventh to be Antiochus Epiphanes. In this way he threw his main strength against the book of Daniel, recognizing that if this pillar of faith is shaken, the whole structure of prophecy must tremble. If the writer was not Daniel, then he lied on a frightful scale, ascribing to God prophecies which were never uttered, and making claim of miracles that were never wrought. And if Daniel's authorship could be shown to be false, then Christ himself would be proved to bear witness to an imposter. Matt, 24, 15. Porphyry's thesis was adopted by Edward Gibbon, the English deist Anthony Collins, and most modern scholars. Augustine and the 5th century ecclesiastical historian Socrates of Constantinople assert that Porphyry was once a Christian. Porphyry was opposed to the theurgy of his disciple Iamblichus. Much of Iamblichus' mysteries are dedicated to the defense of mystic theurgic divine possession against the critiques of Porphyry. French philosopher Pierre Hadot maintains that for Porphyry, spiritual exercises are an essential part of spiritual development. Porphyry was, like Pythagoras, an advocate of vegetarianism on spiritual and ethical grounds. These two philosophers are perhaps the most famous vegetarians of classical antiquity. 
He wrote thee on abstinence from animal food, pi epsilon rho pi omicron chi mu psi chi omega nu, de abstinentia of asu animalium, advocating against the consumption of animals, and he is cited with approval in vegetarian literature up to the present day. Porphyry also wrote widely on astrology, religion, philosophy, and musical theory. He produced a history of philosophy, Philosophus Historia, with vitae of philosophers that included the life of his teacher, Plotinus. His life of Plato from Book 4 exists only in quotes by Cyril of Alexandria. His book Vita Pythagore on the life of Pythagoras is not to be confused with the book of the same name by Iamblichus. His commentary on Ptolemy's harmonics, Eis ta harmonica Ptolemaea hypomnema, is an important source for the history of ancient harmonic theory. Works by Porphyry, Ad Gorum, of uncertain attribution, ed. K. Kalfleisch. Abhandlung in der Preussischen Akademie der Wissenschaft. Phil, Hist, K.L. 1895-33-62. Ad Gedalium, a lost commentary on Aristotle's categories in seven books, see Simplicius. In Aristotelus Categorias Commentarium, 2.5-9, the testimonia are published in Andrew Smith, Ed. Porphyrius. Porphyriae Philosophy Fragmenta. Fragmenta Arabica David Wasserstein Interpretanti, Berlin, Walter de Gruder, 1993. Contra Christianos, ed. Adolf von Harnack, Porphyrius, Gijan die Christen, 15 Bucher, Zugnis, Fragment UND Referate. Abhandlung in der Koniglick Precision Academy der Wissenschaften, Jargang 1916, Philosoph, Hist. Class, NR. 1. Berlin, 1916. Contra los Cristianos, Recopilacion de Fragmentos, Traduction, Introduction y Notas, E.A., Ramos Gerardo, J. Retor Ponce, A. Carmona Bosques, I. Rodriguez Moreno, J. Ordela Salas, J. M. Zamora Calvo, Cadiz. Servicio de Publications de la Universidad de Cadiz 2006. Corpus de Papiri Philosophici Grisi, Latini 3. Commentarii, Florence, Leo S. Olschke, 1995. Hashtag 6 and number 9 may, or may not be by Porphyry. De Abstinentia of Asu Animalium, Jean Bufartigue, M. Patelin, and Alan Philippe Segans, ed. 3 volumes, Butte, Paris, 1979-1995. De Philosophia ex Oraculis Horienda, G. Wolf, ed. Berlin, 1956. Epistula ad Inebinem, A. R. Sodano ed. Naples, L. Arte Typographia, 1958. Fragmenta, Andrew Smith, ed. Stavgardi et Lipsi, B. G. Tivneri, 1993. The Homeric Questions, a bilingual edition, Lang Classical Studies 2, R. R. Schlunk, Trans. Frankfurt am Main, Lang, 1993. Isagogi, Stefan Weinstock, ed. In Catalogus Codicum Astrologorum Graecorum, Franz Cumont, ed. Brussels, 1940v.4, 187-228. This is an introduction to the Tetrabiblos of Ptolemy, not to be confused with the more famous Isagogi on logic. Commentar zur Harmonieler de Ptolemaeus in Gamar During, ed. Gotteborg, Elanders, 1932. Opuscula Selecta August Snock, ed. Lipsy, B.G., Tevneri, 1886, online at archive.org. Porphyriae in Platonis Timium Commentarium Fragmenta A.R., Sodano, ed. Napoli, 1964. Porphyry, the philosopher, to Marcella, text and translation with introduction, and notes Kathleen Obibian Wicker, trans. Text and Translations 28, Greco-Roman Religion Series 10, Atlanata, Scholars Press, 1987. Prose Markellen Griechizer Text, Horoskoben, Übersetzt, Eingeleitet und Erklart von W. Potcher, Leiden, E.J. Brill, 1969. Sententi ad Intelligibilia Ducents, E. Lambers, ed. Leipzig, Teubner, 1975. V. de Pythagore, Lettra a Marcella, E. de Places, ed. and Trans. Paris, Les Belles Lettres, 1982. La V. de Ploten, Luc Brisson, ed. 
Histoire de l'Antiquité Classique 6 et 16, Paris, Libraire Philosophique J. Vrin, 1986 1992, 2 volumes. Vita Plotini, in Plotinus, Armstrong, ed. LCL, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press, 1968, 2-84. To Marcella, text, and translation with introduction, and notes by Kathleen O'Beirne Wicker, Atlanta, Scholars Press, 1987. Translations. Isagogy, Medieval Sources in Translation 16, E. Warren, Trans. Toronto, Pontifical Institute of Medieval Studies, 1975. Porphyry's Introduction. Translation of the Isagogy with a commentary by J. Barnes, Oxford, 2003. Porphyry. On Aristotle's Categories. Translated by Stephen K. Strange, Ithaca, New York, 1992. The Organon or Logical Treatises of Aristotle, with the introduction of Porphyry Bond's Classical Library 11-12, Octavius Frey Owen, Trans. London, G. Bell, 1908-1910, two volumes. Five texts on the medieval problem of universals. Porphyry, Boethius, Abelard, Duns Scotus, Occam Paul Vincent Spade, Trans. Indianapolis, Hackett, 1994. Select Works of Porphyry Translated by T. Taylor, Guilford, 1994 It contains abstinence from eating animal food, the sententiae, and the cave of the nymphs. Launching Points to the Realm of Mind Translation of the sententiae by K. Guthrie, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 1988 Neoplatonic Saints, The Lives of Plotinus and Proclus Translated Texts for Historians 35, Liverpool, Liverpool University Press, 2000. On Abstinence from Killing Animals, Gilliam Clark, Trans. Ithaca, Cornell University Press, 2000. The Cave of the Nymphs in the Odyssey A Revised Text with Translation by Seminar Classics 609. State University of New York at Buffalo, Arethusa Monograph 1, Buffalo, Department of Classics. State University of New York at Buffalo, 1969. On the Cave of the Nymphs, Robert Lamberton, Trans. Barrytown, N.Y., Station Hill Press, 1983. Porphyry Against the Christians, R.M. Birchman, Trans. Ancient Mediterranean and Medieval Texts and Contexts 1, Leiden, Brill, 2005. Porphyry's Against the Christians, The Literary Remains, R. Joseph Hoffman, Trans. Amherst, Prometheus Books, 1994. The Homeric Questions, edited and translated by R. Schlunk, New York, 1993. Porphyry's Letter to His Wife Marcella Concerning the Life of Philosophy and the Ascent to the Gods. Translated by Alice Zimmern, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 1989. Porphyry the Philosopher, Introduction to the Tetrabiblos and Serapio of Alexandria, Astrological Definitions. Translated by James Herschel Holden, Tempe, AZ, AFA, Inc., 2009. Translations of several fragments are contained in Appendix 1 of Religion and Identity in Porphyry of Tyre by Aaron Johnson, Cambridge, 2013. This is brought to you by The Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, and make comments. We love feedback.